In music, we determine our volume level by something called dynamics. Dynamics are a series of symbols that help us determine how loud or how soft we should perform a piece of music. Those symbols are abbreviations for Italian words that we will translate into English. Here we have the symbol P, which is short for the Italian word piano. When we see this symbol in our music, we know to perform that section soft. The piano dynamic marking is one of the foundational symbols in which other dynamic markings are built off of. Here on our dynamics chart, you can see that piano belongs on the softer end of the scale. However, it is not our softest dynamic marking. Next we have the letter F, which symbolizes the Italian word forte. In English, forte means loud. Back on our dynamics chart, you can see that forte is placed on the louder side of the scale, while piano is towards the softer side. All of the other dynamic markings we are going to learn are built off of these two symbols, piano and forte. Here you see the symbol MP. The P still stands for piano, but now we add the M. The M stands for the Italian word mezzo. Mezzo in English means medium, so this dynamic marking, mezzo piano, means medium soft. Please pay special attention to how we say the word mezzo. In Italian, two Z's together make a T-S sound, like the word pizza. We have mezzo. Here we have placed mezzo piano in our dynamics chart. It is louder than piano, but softer than forte. Here we have MF. Just like mezzo piano, we can modify forte to be mezzo forte. This means medium loud. We have added in mezzo forte to our dynamics chart. As you can see, the softest volume level we have learned is piano, followed by mezzo piano, mezzo forte, and forte. Here we have the symbol of two P's. In Italian, this stands for pianissimo. The issimo adds a very to it, so this means very soft. Pianissimo is softer than piano. Though pianissimo is shown as our softest dynamic marking, we could actually have softer markings with three P's, pianissi, issimo, or four P's or more, but those are less common. Just like pianissimo, we have two F's, which is fortissimo. This means very loud. Here you will see our completed dynamics chart. Just like we could have softer than pianissimo, we can have louder than fortissimo, with three Fs being fortissimo, and so on. Please notice that the chart goes from left to right, softest to loudest. Pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, and fortissimo. This symbol is a crescendo. It means to gradually get louder. It is important to note that gradually means over time. Sometimes in your music you won't see this symbol, but you will see the abbreviation C-R-E-S-C, -E or CRESH. These mean the same thing. Just as we can get louder over time, we can also get softer. This is a decrescendo, which means to gradually get softer. The final word we are going to talk about is not specifically a dynamic marking, but is often found with dynamic markings in music. That word is subito, sometimes abbreviated as S-U-B. This means suddenly. Your music may have you performing at a forte dynamic when you come across sub P, which would mean suddenly soft. Remember, this would not be the same as a decrescendo, where you gradually get softer over time, but subito would be instantaneous. Dynamic markings allow us to be a more expressive performer and convey meaning to our audiences.